<laughs> no, Mildred can be a handful, but she's a perfectionist, and that is exactly what I need right now. What does Turk think about her? He's steering clear. If I'm happy, he's happy. I'm happy for you, Emmy, but I... Oh, just listen. Now, that's the National Organization of Women was organized to initiate and support action against prejudice and discrimination against women in government, industry, professions, churches, political parties, and every other field of importance in American society. Sounds like they do a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is about the women's liberation movement, and this is about the boycotting of beauty and cleaning products. Why are they boycotting? Uh, well, the way I understand it, uh, these products symbolize women being stuck in the house or being gawked at. <laughs> Yesterday, you were going to be a cheerleader. Now, today... You're a feminist. I know, isn't it great? And the best part is, it's something we can do together. In me, I don't think I have enough time to be involved with another cause. But Renee, this cause is important too. It's like the NAACP, but for women. Women's rights are being threatened, and we have to fight to keep them. You don't need any help. You do that all the time. I know, mm -hmm. but well, this is something we can do together. So are you with me? So, as a feminist, what should I be doing? <laughs> Throwing out the trash. What on earth are you doing? Throwing away products that are keeping women behind. I need a translator just to figure out what you are saying these days. It has to do with now and the feminist movement. Emmy went to a meeting and they're throwing away all beauty and cleaning products. Well, then let them boycott. We don't have enough money to be throwing away these good products. But we should boycott. These products are demeaning to women. Dishwashing liquid has done nothing to me but clean my dishes. And according to now, keep you in the kitchen. Now has nothing to do with you or me. It is for middle-class white women who are bored with their lives. I don't understand. Shouldn't we be involved with rights for women? Not until we make leaps and bounds as Negroes. You always have to look at the big picture, Renee. Always. Now, Renee, I know that after our last meeting we discussed champagne roses, but I thought the calla lily would be a much more exquisite choice. Oh, these are beautiful. What do you think, Emmy? Yeah, they're all right. Aren't roses your favorite? Which is why I thought having calla lilies at the wedding would be a welcome change. Why shouldn't she have what she likes? Miss Sims, um, it's my job as the bridal consultant to take that which is familiar and transform it into something unique. So you're going to change roses into a calla lily. What next? You're going to pull a wedding bell out of your... I mean... Look, you've made it perfectly clear. May the bride speak, please. Please do. Thank you, Emmy. Now, I know you're really trying to help, but Mildred obviously knows what she's doing, so if she thinks calla lilies would make a better statement, I don't disagree. Well, why did you want me here if I can't speak my mind? Because you're the matron of honor. Well, <laughs> perhaps you'd like to sit over here and do my job. <laughs> perhaps I should. At least I know what she likes. Okay, ladies, truce. Now, me, if you can't say something nice, then... I'm just making suggestions. Remember, you don't get a redo on this, okay? The first time's the first time. Well, I guess in your case, it's actually the second time. Look... I certainly welcome all suggestions, but since I am the one planning the wedding and you being as busy as you seem to be, I'm not too busy to plan my best friend's wedding. Okay, that's it. If you two want to fight over who's better than fight, but I am the one who is getting married. So in one week, I'm going to ask both of you to present me with your best proposal. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, you want me to audition? No. Mildred Harrison does not audition. <laughs> oh, come on. Be a sport, Millie. Mildred. Pardon. Mildred. Let the games begin. Hey, hey there. Yeah. How are you, darling? You yeah. are so sweet to let me come on such short notice. Did you find those pictures? A few. Come on in here and sit down. Can you believe it? Our girl is finally getting married. I can. It's just amazing, <sighs> isn't it? Oh, look here. Are these pictures? Mm. Now, what do you want these for again? Well, I'm wanting to do kind of a wedding collage. You know, a little surprise for the wedding. Oh, that is so sweet. Look, I was going through my wedding chest the other day. I can't believe all the great ideas I have collected. Oh, Lord, I have been dreaming about this day for years. You know, I'm a little short on time today, Miss Jackson. Look at here, Mary Elizabeth. My mama's veil. Oh. Ooh. And the swatches for bridesmaids' dresses that I have collected. Oh. 
Lord, I forgot all about this. Isn't this a beautiful burgundy? This is a piece of Renee's high school graduation dress. She wanted to say it because she never thought she'd find another color quite like that. I remember that dress. Miss mm. Jackson, could I borrow some of these things? Whatever would you want this for? Well, I'm trying to explain to Renee that she does not need this whole dog and pony show thing that this wedding planner is trying to sell her. Wedding planner? Oh, no, she didn't. Renee? We need to talk. Hey, Mama. What's wrong? You know good and damn well what's wrong. My only daughter is getting married, and everybody else is planning a wedding but me. Mama, that is not true. Now, so I just never... didn't want you to worry. The mother of the bride should get to enjoy herself. Well, I would enjoy myself a lot more if I knew what was going on. What? Now, when do I get to meet this man and woman? All in due time. Well, I am putting in my bed. What have you thought about your place settings for the reception yet? Mama, a client of mine just came in, so... Let him wait. We're gonna talk about my ideas. Now, you need gifts for the bridal party. Mama. I think that you and Turk should get CJs. Please hold on a second. Jamal, how can you be done as hard as we fight? What's going on out here? He wants to drop the case. Can you believe it, Renee? After every... Look, he should calm down. Jamal? I'm just not sure it's worth my time. You know, I don't like all the negative energy it's creating. Oh, you'll have a lot of negative energy with no job. Renee, can you please talk some sense into him?